What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 16, day 16. We're about midday right now. Um, really feeling pretty good about this right now. I feel like we're about to turn a corner. I'm getting brick two ramped up to be uh, made. Food is booming, so I'm hoping I might get a, a couple migrants here. I should, I feel. And I think the only thing holding me back, a merchant, of course. Uh, another food barrel. Gonna have to queue up a couple of those guys. I feel like I'm pretty rich. <laughs> I'm pretty much, I don't have too many worries. You can see, I don't want to pull him off. I'm going to have to make another trader at some point, but I don't even know why, why I care. I just feel like I'm obligated since it's a, tr a city. You can see I'm, you know, kind of done this up. So let me tell you what I've decided. So this is going to be the water level, I, like I said. That's one level, two level, three level. That's I'm gonna have three levels deep of water. So this is gonna be the, the, the bed of the, the stream of the moat. This right here is what I was talking about. Now, you, this is the roof of that. Now, let me, let me slide it down for you. No, I'm not getting rid of steel. And you see right here, this is the roof, so now boom. And you can see in here, there's a two by two square tunnel. Put the roof back on, it totally sealed off. So if I ever need, all I have to do is dig down and kind of connect over here and then I have this little run under the moat to iron ingot for yeah okay and then I can get out and go now this is obviously gonna have to be extended as I dig this out which is gonna be kind of my next order of business which is gonna be not so easy a task but right now I'm just trying to get the f the foundation set up for the big monster towers and that's why I have Level 8 Herder, okay, is that it, he's gone, no, he's not gone yet, but if you look, I'm starting to get good feathers, 48 feathers now, she's getting to level 8, I apologize, I haven't done any names yet, uh, this has all been one sitting, the last 4, or 5, 6 episodes, so i just kind of been rolling with it, I promise you I'll catch up on all the renaming, I'm going to go through all the comments up until this point, and the ones that have already, you know, been in, obviously, and then I'm going to take the best commenters, supporters, and things like that, and, and add you to the community here because we do have a couple of still migrant names so basically what i'm doing here is i'm digging this down you see again i got this all built up i got this all built up they can get down on each side um i have builder's wagons i'm all prepped for that another builder wagon because i'm gonna use a lot of stone in here so i want to make it as easy as possible um i don't really need uh, actually i probably will I'll probably put like a mine well see not there but once i build this maybe once i get this to the grade i want that's what i'll do i'll put a couple uh what is it called? Mining stockpiles in there so that I can, you know, like right here, I could put one right here. I'd like to get that out of there, but let's see. Storage. Oh no, I can't because that's going to be the tower. Derp, 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 derp. All right, let's get him. What are you doing here? I would, um, I have him on stonemason because I want him to level up. I'm going to steal hero. How is he doing? He's got one more tree left. All right, so get that tree. You know what? Screw it. I'm okay. I got 200. I'm gonna put him on stonemason. I'm just gonna have him go. He's gonna fail a lot, but you know, let him level up. And yeah, so once I literally, because this is gold, that's gold. This is you know, I, I need to get a steel, so I'm gonna have to level up. I'm gonna eventually switch off once I get a decent number of these built. This is the level I want. There's a little bump here in the middle. I'm hoping once the water comes in, we won't notice that so much. I don't know. Might irritate me, but I think in the grand scheme of things, this is not gonna be that big of a deal. Uh, let's see, what does the water look like? Yeah, you can kind of see right through it, but I'm hoping you won't notice so much. Um, but at least if you do, you'll know you'll know why we have it. Now, food barrel. What do I need for food barrel? Carpenter, probably? Yeah, so where's he? Yeah, might as well have you go be carpenter. Go and get a little more. I was dumb, actually. I should have had Hero do that. So there you go. I'm just prepping it up. We're actually very close to... Just starting off, you know, to being to me and good to go. Just the final kind of touches, if you will. Do that, and I probably just screwed up my whole workflow. Yeah, I really want to get these out of here. I could, I could be going over here, but I'm gonna lay that out tonight as I get a couple of stones. Basically, I just want to lay out the outline, and then it's gonna be easy to fill in as I go because once I have it laid out, I don't have to think after that. So those guys can sit there. I'm gonna have him food barrels. That's fine, and go right back to stone mason. All right, all right, all right. So we're doing pretty good. I'm kind of just keeping an eye on the charcoal, the charcoal, the coal. And there you go. I'm, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm a little weirded out why we don't have 
migrants. You see, I cut back the wheat, but the wheat's holding strong about 250 full trough. Yep. Got a good number of animals in there. I might end up killing some of these just in hopes of then, you know, there, there's a cap to how many mobs can be on the server. I don't know if that's broken down into aggressive or animals or, or herding type animals, that stuff. So, in theory, I think it is. I think there's a max, obviously, just for performance-wise. So, I don't want those slots taken up by animals I don't really care about. Now, sheep, uh, I guess, you know, like, I, I might just kind of kill off until I have one of each. And then I'll be slowly gaining those resources. But, we'll see. I, I, I'm still getting chickens, which is great. And, you know, until I take care of the other side over there, which, I mean, it's not a detriment to the herding animals. If you look, I don't know, did I show you this? This countryside's pretty clean out here now. Jouets has really been kind of killing himself out here. And I really don't need to keep sending him out. Unfortunately, what is he at? He's a 13 forger. I don't really need to keep sending him out. The reason I do is spiders. That's it. I don't know. I don't even know if he's killed any spiders, honestly. But I, I want him kind of wandering around. I mean, it's fairly safe. There's a sheep over there. And he's kind of killing the, the animals I don't want. Let's just see if we can see there's a spider over there I'd like for him to go get. There's two over here. See, I was kind of hoping he would wander over here, but he's just not, which is fine. He's got plenty of bushes and stuff, which I should take that off of him because I just don't need the food. But And that's why my food has kind of boomed back. Where's he going? He's getting that spider that I told him to get a long time ago. Yeah, it looks like what he's doing. Then he'll wander, but you can see there's there's really nothing out here. And that's just because I've had him wandering. I've, I've done a good job. And because I've got about 40 <laughs> things over here. I, I haven't looked over here in a little while. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. One, two. Oh, man. How have we not gotten a look? One, two, three, four. Alright, five. Man, we're close to getting a matriarch. I gotta get over here at least get the spider. But there's a lot of stuff here. These guys, the archers... Yeah, we're gonna get a matriarch at some point soon here. I think I think we have I think we are able to get one spawned. I'm just looking at the spiders quick. So I'm gonna have to start formulating a plan for that. Like I said, even if it's just like a one little two little bridge over here where I can just snipe off, it's kind of cheese. But I do want to build a bridge eventually anyway. So if I do it from like over here and I just build a bridge over, of course, you know I'm about, just about to start my huge building project. Now I'm thinking of a tangent project to go do. That's kind of silly. Speed this up as it's just digging. I've got 35 stone. So actually, let's go ahead. Let's start laying this out. So I just got to figure this out real quick with the. Uh, I don't need that. We'll do brick too. So it's seven. So let's see. Best way to do this would probably be something like this. That's nine. Let's see. eight so it looks like that is the length I want that's seven that's it right there so that looks like that's my central point but uh, I have to check that I'm not exactly sh actually that's one good way to check this here let's see another trader Yep, that is what I want right there. So this will be six. Turn that off. See how quick she, she builds, that's nice. So the only thing that's really gonna limit that is my stock of, so let's see here. It's gonna st my stock of stone. go that's really gonna be it can you tell I've made this pattern a couple times oh, that's not right over here for some reason what did I do wrong here something isn't right There it is. 
That's a pattern of the tower right there. And now it's just it's just gonna be to fill it in. That's really it. So like I said, the only limiting factor is going to be how quickly I can produce it. Now I do need to mine some of this out. Because I don't want That's it. I'm going to keep bringing that up, really, is, is what we're going to do here. What's that? That's not what I want. I'm going to undermine all this, of course, eventually, so I'm not even going to focus on that so much. Bring that there. So there you go. That'll be the foundation. That's the blueprint. You can kind of get a sense of how big it's going to be. Pretty big tower. <laughs> and I hope it's going to... Like, I, the trick here was I didn't want to build... I, I totally missed that trader. I don't even care. There, there's nothing worthwhile for me. I, I want them to work more than anything. Um, I wanted the tower to be big enough so it kind of looks like a nice circle. But I didn't want the towers to be too big. And 15 was the first, the lowest I felt I could go where it started to look like a soft circle. Otherwise, it looks so jaggy and stuff. It still doesn't look that great, to be honest with you. But I think it looks okay. Goblin kill the sheep. Where are you? Okay. That's in our neighborhood. Where is that? Okay. So I've got to watch duets now. Let's just pull him in then. I mean, we've, we've got more... I don't know. He can handle a goblin, but... See what else we got. We got a goblin camp. Is that? Yep, we got one there. We got one there. All right. Well, let's just. I'm gonna let him do his thing because he's doing it pretty well. Okay, but you can see I've got that. That's gonna be that. I mean, I'm, I'm out of brick. That's basically the problem. But that's gonna be the footprint. I'm gonna obviously have to dig out in here at some point, but I don't have to do that just yet. I can get this tower up and then finish the second half later. And now I'm gonna lay this out later. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm like you're not even gonna see this once these towers are filled in, which that'll be good. I might even just fill that in an extra level. But let them dig that out. I'm gonna have to dig all this out, like I said. But that's, I'm gonna have to kind of monitor that as we go. Okay, cue this up. Now, yeah, I'm just kind of worried that I'm going to get surprised by a matriarch. It's one thing to have one. Like, I feel like I could stop one, even if it came at this point. I don't want to get surprised by one. I don't want to, like, only find out about it 10 feet from my building, from my, from my fortification. That would kind of suck. <laughs> uh, is this thing even ready? No, too many, too many saplings on that side. That's fine. All right, so I'm gonna let the miners do their thing. This side I'd really like to clean up because it's just gonna be crap in the way. But I'm gonna lay that out off camera. There's no reason you guys need to sit there and watch that. Uh, that's pretty nice. Actually, I have those two. Th I have the one, yeah. I have the one on coal and I have the one on wood. And it's actually not really going up, which is kind of cool. Or not really drying up, not really going down. So that's pretty good. In aura, let's grab that, grab everything we can get because we are trying to level them up. So you go, and then, and then eventually, obviously, I'm going to make this whole moat bigger and, and deeper. I don't know if this part of the moat's really going to have to go this deep. I don't know. We'll have to see once it kind of looks like once we're once we're once we're into it. But this is certainly going to have to come out. And you can see that's the front of the tower there. I want at least three clear. And it should probably be bigger than that. All right, we got a couple bad guys over here. You guys want a little action? We'll send frost cap out. Is he going to fight? I want to run an experiment. See if he's going to fight or he's just going to run right back. Yeah, that's good. Right, why can't I grab this guy to make charge on him? 
don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's just gonna go to his no preferred. I think it's because he's on the road. There it is. Yep, there we go. Should go after him. I need to be able to make some, some steel soon. I guess I have to be able to... I, guess I probably have to see him. That, that I think Is that the key? He has to be within sight, and then I can tell him what to do. That, that actually makes pretty good sense. Yep. That's actually a pretty good mechanic. I do I do like that. So, all right, good. We're going to get rid of these guys. I don't think he took any damage, did he? No. God forbid they get, did get through. There's another guy's over here. All right, so we're starting to get some goblins again. Don't see any archers to really be concerned with. He should return. There's some more guys over there. All right, so I'll send a raiding party out there eventually. But they, we're, 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 we've got pretty good control over here. I'm not really too nervous about it. They're back. Is he back? Where's he, where's he going? Come on, pal. Get them races. Basically just leveling them up. All right. So he's mining. They're hopefully producing some bricks. She's filling them in as fast as she can, I guess. Like, like I said, get this whole foundation set. And then I'm kind of good. I know what I'm dealing with. And it's just a matter of building up. I mean, it's going to be a while. It's going to take a long time. But just imagine this tower. It's going to be just a huge thing of brick, too. Pretty awesome in that sense. And it's going to be really... I mean, it's fire is not really going to burn through it. Nothing like that. And hopefully as I build them up, I'll probably build them up to a certain height. Like I said, build a tower on top of it. A little smaller. Um, going to be pretty immense. Should dominate the kind of... I want to say countryside, but maybe not that. Maybe just dominate the wall. And we're on our way. We're building. And that's what I'm excited about. I'm, I'm glad to be doing that with you guys. Because I know you've been sitting here for 16 episodes and haven't really seen us building much. And that's because I got so many monsters thrown at me to begin with. And I still don't really know why that is. But hopefully you picked up some things. I mean, moats are always the best. Uh, you build moats. You dig a moat down. And you build like one or two blocks up. And you've got a really quick and dirty secure wall. Very important to get secure early. Train up an infantry. I got got a couple breaks, but nothing too crazy. It was pretty straightforward. And it's just a manage, matter of ma micromanaging. We've lost a couple guys, obviously, but we're, we're doing pretty good. Now, I'm not out of the woods. That first matriarch is going to be a big test. Uh, with two archers, I, I kind of like my chances, and a couple infantrymen to run out. I don't want to run infantrymen out. You run an infantryman against a matriarch, you're going to lose them. But if that's what it takes to save the colony, that's what you do. So... We are about to start building. We're going to get a really nice secure gate here. Going to eventually get the wall all the way enclosed in. But we're going to have to do something about this guy. So I'd really love some feedback. I think the best idea right now I can think of is to build you know, a bridge and just stop it. Pick off what we can. And then eventually I'm probably going to have to make forays out into here and try to kill these things. I've been hoping a necro would spawn over here, or even just uh, skeletons, but we really haven't had that. I wonder if I should like swim over on this side and just work my way over. I, I don't know. i got to sit and think about it and look at it. But I'd love to hear your feedback, but you can get, a, get an idea, guys. We're getting there. We're really getting there. Those big towers are going to look pretty awesome, I think. Again, maybe I'll put another tower over here, a tower over here as I get more population and be able to man it. And then don't forget, we're building a city in here. <laughs> so this is going to be main Broadway coming all the way down. The roads are going to kind of tee off and stuff and we're gonna build buildings near different architecture different looks the idea is everybody in the city city i gotta be at like what 15 immigrants or 15 citizens at this point i'm gonna have their own bed if i can shack them up male female i might do that but i probably won't just because i i, I name females males and stuff like that but everybody kind of has their own bed at least if not their own house that's gonna what i'm gonna try for we'll see how far down the road we get thanks so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed it thus far i will talk to you soon take care